I've been waiting for you. You're the Swamp Witch's familiar, aren't you? I'm sure that Swampy Hick Witch is watching us with her third eye, right? So listen up! Okay, huh? Who's this idiot? You are about to receive the Duchess's divine judgment! Okay. As I surmised, you don't even know the crime you committed. That's why I hate hillbillies from the sticks. It's a good thing I brought this girl along as a witness. Hey, Teresa. Will being a witness really be enough to convince Valentine to undo my curse? I told you to call me Witchmaster, not Teresa! Ugh! What? But you're the one who told me you're just an apprentice witch. Ugh! You're saying too much! But if this will really undo the curse on me... You doubt my words? Of course it will! There's no curse the Great Witch can't undo! As long as you testify about the Swamp Witch's misdeeds, I'll put in a good word with the Duchess. After all, my master is also one of the eight great witches invited to the nighttime soiree. <sighs> Turning this into a big scene. Bringing up the Duchess, other people, and all this nonsense. Fine. Let's show them a nice hallucination. Thank you. But a hallucination created via the Hundred Knight will only be visible to those with some magic power. That apprentice seems pretty weak. I'm not entirely convinced she'll be able to see anything. Oh well, can't hurt to try. Yeah! Yeah! Huh? Oh, so you can use spells like that. <laughs> well done seeing it. Huh? M Metallia? Huh? I kind of figured that shitbag of an apprentice would see it. But how can the mutt see it? Was my spell way too strong? Wh what was that? I cannot pretend like I didn't hear you call me a... an... an S-bag! Whatever. Who are you anyway? Well, well. Pardon my late introduction. I am the Tar Witch Teresa, the top apprentice for Scum Witch Belda, one of the eight great witches. <laughs> Tar and Scum, huh? Are you two street performers or something? What a perfect match. I... I will allow no disrespect. The Swamp Witch has no right to speak ill of our namesakes! Huh? Hey, you thieving bitch! That ring's mine! Trying to lecture me about the crime I committed? Pretty ballsy for a low-life burglar to do! And is stealing another stuff what they teach you as a knight, you damn mutt? What you say? Well, this is... I was told to grab something that Teresa said was very important to you, so I thought... Boring, don't care. Just give it back. Oh? Oh! Is it that special to you? It's an important piece of evidence to be submitted to the Great Witch. If you want it so badly, why not leave that filthy swamp and get it yourself? your attempt to lure me out into the open? Sorry, but having you as an opponent isn't enough of a reason to leave. If you don't return it, my loyal hundred knight will twist, shred, and tear off your arm to reclaim it. You heard me, hundred knight. Kill her! Chop that thief of a witch into bite-sized chunks! I have no intention. 
intention of becoming your opponent right here and now. That's because you're going to get a huge punishment courtesy of the Duchess. Be prepared.
How's that? Ruh, you 
you can't go this way. Not without Master Valentine's permission, anyway. Yep, yep, yep. Go home, please. If you speak with the Duchess, everything will be cleared up. Out of my way, please. There's the thief! Don't let her get away! Stop it! Jeez! Useless Corrigan! Now they've caught up with me! What now, thieving witch? If you return the ring... If I return it... I'll give you the most torturous and painful death I can think of. <laughs> sh shut up! Sh shut up! Shut up! I'm not scared of you at all! Th there's no way I'd lose to a bumpkin witch like you! Ever! It certainly is noisy out here. Oh, what a surprise. Finally shown yourself. M Master Valentine! I am. Um, I brought the culprit in that nasty witch murder case. Please give her your judgment. Here, this is her ring. It's very important evidence. Introduce myself. I am Scum Witch Belda's number one apprentice, Tar Witch Teresa. Master Belda commanded me to consult with you regarding the Swamp Witch, who is said to be a witch killer. You are acting overly familiar, no? Who do you think you are addressing? As usual, Belda's thoughts barely skim the surface of things. You are the Great Witch Valentine? The one spoken of so highly? I am Viscal Dotrish, a knight from Amataya Kingdom! She seems competent enough. A half-beast, yes. But I must admit I am amused by such rarities. Corrigan, carry this one away. Whee! Right away! Oh, this girl. Where have I... Hey, where the hell do you think you're taking my pet? You said your name was Teresa? Hmm. You simply won't do. Huh? What, what, what do you mean? Since you invoked Belda's name, I will ignore your boorish manners if you leave now. I am quite busy. But, but, wait! I was the one who brought you the wicked criminal! Do you truly believe now is an appropriate time to talk back to me? An apprentice pretending to be a witch must be truly ignorant if she feels she can talk back to me. N no, but I didn't mean... I wasn't trying to talk back, but... Uh, I'm so scared. I want to run away so, 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 so fast. But if I run now, Master Belda will scold me something fierce. Oh, man. But, um, but this is the witch killer, and murderers need to be, well, judged, so your judgment. 
still blathering on, I see. <sighs> what an imbecile. <sighs> you are... Ah, oh, yes, my flower spell. You seem to have recovered nicely. Of course. Did you really think you'd win that easily? And what brings you out here? Did you decide to become my nighttime attendant after all? Stop screwing with me! Where'd you take my dog? Both that ring and that dog woman belong to me! Return them at once! <laughs> this ring is that important? To have a piece of crystallized mana of this size and color? How rare. Where, pray tell, did you find this? As if I tell a stuck-up prick like you! Is what I want to say. But I'd rather see the look on your face. When I tell you that I made it! What? <laughs> Surprised? Well, naturally. This isn't something an average witch could hope to make. Right. I believe you. You have now sparked my interest. <laughs> the Swamp Witch, indeed. If you are truly fearless, come into my bedroom. There, I will be willing to learn more about you. If you want your ring and canine friend back, you must come here in person. Not through a familiar. <laughs> I'll be waiting. Wait! Go after her, Hundred Knight! Hmm. I think I get the situation now. Hundred Knight, small change of plans. You're gonna make a stop somewhere. <laughs> Don't worry, it's a simple enough task. Rock you? Destroy all the forbidden monuments found near this castle. You should be able to break them. I know there are five of them, but I don't know where they are exactly. Look around here a bit, and you'll run across some forbidden monuments. <laughs> I know it's an annoying amount of extra labor, but it'll result in you seeing something pretty cool.
How's yeah. that? Uh, How's that? Yeah. <laughs>
How's that? Play! How's that?
好的。
Fine. Grant them passage. <laughs> yes, of course! Sorry for stepping out of line! Well, well. You actually came. I'll have my ring in the mutt back now. Oh, but I learned so much about that night. Such an interesting girl cannot be returned so easily. I ask that you show yourself first, Swamp Witch Metallia. <laughs> that thing's enough for you. What a stale joke. You will use a familiar to go against me? Or are you too frightened to stare into my eyes, face to face? <laughs> It'd be stupid of you to think of the Hundred Knight as a mere familiar. What? The Hundred Knight? Once again, today has turned out to be quite noisy. <laughs> I wonder what'll come out. Hmm. Wait, you didn't... the Forbidden Monuments? How sloppy, Gelato. If a little girl like her beats you, the name of Valentine will be soiled. Then again, I guess I was saved due to your failure. Fresh air just can't be beat. Cigaro. Huh? This is who was sealed away? A pretty disgusting fat ass of a witch? Now then, Gelato. How dare you trap your older sister in a place like that? Weren't we supposed to act as one? You forgot many things about our past, it seems. You've got a big mouth. Someone like you has no right to hold their head high. Good. Did you truly think your powers would be enough to defeat me? I only sealed you away because I had grown bored of your pathetic attempts to get rid of me. Oh, 
as usual, ignoring me. So annoying. <laughs> Hundred Knight, this is a good chance to fight them both at once. You need to be paralyzed as well. What? <laughs> this is my chance! Gelato! How dare you! Yum, yum. How's that? I ate her. Gelato. I've been waiting for this chance for so long. <laughs> Not killing me, but sealing me up like some kind of pet. I'll make your regrets come into your greed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm overflowing with magical energy. <laughs> I've definitely gained Gelato's power. She and I have become one, and the ultimate Valentine has been born. <laughs> it's a fitting punishment for having sealed me away. You can stay in my stomach as a pet until your magic has been completely drained away, Gelato. <laughs> a rope. I am the true Valentine. I am Sigaro Valentine. I've had my hands full before, but now her magic power is all mine. I've waited for this chance. Hey, Piggy, spit out that bitch! I know she's alive. She's my prey! Oh, what's this? Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> I was considering giving you my thanks, but insolent girls like you taste even better than gelato. I love them so much that I can't help but eat them. It's a bit different than with my sister, you see. Now, come to me. Even a little one like this can make for a fine dessert. Challenge accepted. Hundred Knight? It wasn't planned. But if she's strong, let's kill her. Go! Tear this fat ass's jelly roll of a torso apart and make it into a wind tunnel. Protector of the pillar. Release it, Hundred Knight. Make that sucker blue. <laughs> and how 
long do you plan to sleep? <laughs> you. I'll have my ring back now. Uh, what happened to me? Where is this? Using my dog as a shield to try and survive this situation is a shallow, wasteful tactic. You! Stop! How can you be so cruel? Bitching as soon as you wake up. You're so damn loud. To toy with and harm the helpless? Have you no conscience? The hell? Conscience? I wonder. I mean, this one was trying to sell you off, you know. Th that's... Well, that's not related to your cruel actions at all. You're dead set on making me out to be some kind of cruel witch no matter what, huh? Fine. Then I won't lay a finger on this one. What? Is this another trick? Just watch, will you? Or... Uh... Are you trying to say that you want to prove to me that you aren't evil? <laughs> I won't bother repeating myself. You'll believe me. Or does a knight's trust only extend this far? <sighs> All right. I'll... I'll believe you. Don't do anything else cruel. Yeah, sure. Let's leave that matter to those guys. Hey, Corrigan Horde! Your master's in a tight spot. That porker of a witch stole her magic powers, so she can't use any sort of recovery spells right now. <laughs> it's up to you to help her. Your master wishes to stay alive. Talia! Woof woof! We have to nurse her? Nurse Master Valentine! Master Valentine! <laughs> Hurry, something sweet. Prepare me something sweet to recover my magic powers with. Yikes! We'll make it right away! Whee! Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Thanks to that last fight, she has literally no magic powers left. Whoa, whoa. Master Valentine, your powers are all gone? Yeah. Your master would lose to a dog fetus right now. Nurse her however you see fit. No. Natalia, you little... Is what's called karma. You did this to yourself, Duchess. <laughs> we'll make you scream with joy. <laughs> it's our chance to thank you for everything, you fucking slave driver. Stop! Stop it! <laughs> 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 what 
the great witch, the Duchess of Flowers, like this? <laughs> we'll rip out that tongue next, you pompous sucker! You fools! Stop! Stop! <laughs> good! So good! Something so delicious, it's certainly forbidden! <laughs> How... How cruel! Why did it have to turn out this way? Huh. It's a shame I left her alone. The Corrigan are known as cruel and cunning fairies. You knew what would happen if you left it up to the Corrigan, didn't you? The choice was theirs to make. Do you still doubt me? Of course I do! How could I accept such a blatant lie? I did as promised and kept my hands off her. And you still call me a liar? Your conviction is pretty pathetic. <sighs> Very well. You did as promised. Even so, you are a dangerous witch. I cannot let you go astray. To honor my fallen comrades, I must take responsibility and stick by you until I unravel your true nature. And when the day comes where I can confirm that you are indeed a cruel and evil witch, I will even sacrifice my own life if that is what it takes to see you executed. Stick by me? I did call you my pet. But that doesn't mean you get to stay in my house for as long as you want. Unless there's a reason you don't want to go back to your kingdom. How did you... <laughs> I guess you can't bear the thought of going home looking like an ugly mutt. Stay if you want. But even if you're my pet, you're still a squatter. You'll earn your keep. I... I... I am not your pet! Whatever you say, mongrel. Come on home, Hundred Knight. What's all this? It's me! You are our savior! <laughs> yes, yes, you are! You released us from slavery after several centuries! <laughs> I couldn't care less about you! Stupid compliments mean nothing. Why not show me how grateful you are through your actions? to the first pet I've decided to keep at home. I'm not your pet! I'm so tired of saying that. How many times has it been? And ever since we got back, all you've had to eat is chocolate. Chocolate bread, chocolate soup, chocolate salad. Ugh. Just looking at some of these inhuman combinations makes me gag. <laughs> what are you talking about? Chocolate is delicious. It sharpens your mind. And it's only kind of you to celebrate the Corrigan's liberation, isn't it? They gave these to us as thanks. So that's why we have it all here. Of course. It's all because they see me as their savior for releasing them. may be true, but... Maybe they just pushed all their extra chocolate onto us. <laughs> Haven't you been eating the same thing for a while now, too? Do you like those candied seeds that much? No! It's not 
like I really, really like them or anything. Come on, don't blush. I know cats get high on catnip, but candied seeds and dogs? News to me. I won't forget that slight. Don't be shy. If you like them so much, I can candy many more of those green seeds in a little bit. Really? No! No, no! Who would want your charity? <laughs> it's not a problem. After all, it's an owner's job to take proper care of their pet. Enough! If you're gonna make fun of me, I'd rather eat nothing at all! <laughs> Listen to that. Take a look at the Hundred Knights' appetite, you dog. You should take notes. Don't compare me to that thing! I mean, first of all, who or what is it exactly? If you must know, old legends call it a devil, a deity, and a servant of darkness. Well, a familiar. Old legends? Yeah, but its existence has been debated for over a thousand years. That's how legends go, I guess. From the depths of the underworld, a hundred knights will rise and trample the heavens. The sight will extend over 10,000 miles and unlock the hollow truth of this world. Control this, and control the world. Or so it says. That's supposed to be the legend? I've never heard it before. An excerpt from an old inscription that only witches can read. Um, well, I don't get it. But you think this is a legendary hundred night? Even though it's one night? It's one night, but it's the hundred night that the legends speak of. I searched for it and found it. I'm not wrong. That's a poor argument, since you're making a wild assumption. Just get along as mutual servants of mine. Call it Hundred Nut. That's its name, after all. It doesn't bite or anything, does it? <laughs> if it's not in a bad mood. Nice to meet you, Hundred Knight. My name is Viscal Dotrish. Please call me Visco. What? Does that mean it's happy to meet me as well? <laughs> it understands our language, but it's still hard to read when it says nothing at all. Well, don't think about it too hard and just try to get along. Well, I think you could use a lesson in how to get along yourself. Well, well... Anyway, I look forward to our time together, Hundred Knight. Pardon me for interrupting your delicious and nutritious meal, Master Leah. After evaluating the crack in your ring, it seems that repairing it will prove quite difficult. No shit. If I'm not able to fix it myself, how would you ever be able to? I'll figure something out. And I'm Metallia. Remember that. This is all because the dog stole it. My ring's so valuable that if you pawned it off, you could buy a city. Understood regarding the ring. But, Master Leah, your stomach? Hey, he's right, Vitalia. What's wrong with your stomach? Huh? Could it be that you are pregnant? Are you trying to be funny? I'm a damn proud virgin! I probably just ate too much junk. Three days straight of chocolate would make anyone gain some weight. Records exist of virgin pregnancies. It is possible, yes. Now that you mention it, 
kind of does feel like something's moving around inside of me. Was this chocolate poison? Well, I made sure the dog had some purse, so... What? How dare you! Master Leah? Recognize it somehow. Hey, um, maybe you should lie down. Shut up! Don't come near me! Should you really act tough right now? This is no normal stomach ache. This isn't the green spot plague, is it? Green spot plague? It is a plague that begins with a stomach ache, and as it progresses, spotty bruises spread all over and you die. I already knew that! This pain is different. I... I know this pain! This might be... Lord Pepto-Biz. Oh, shit! Oh, I see. Lord Pepto-Biz. It has been quite a long time since I heard that name. It... hasn't been here in ages, so I thought it went somewhere really far away. Lord Pepto-Biz? Who's that? I don't get it, but are you okay? Lord Peptobiz is a god that appears out of the forest depths whenever Master Leah does something bad. Symptoms include a circus of stomach aches, headaches, back aches, dizziness, diarrhea, pain, suffering, and vomiting. Scary. tell people told to get their kids to behave. <laughs> no way, Metalia. You believe that old superstition? S superstition? Honestly, if we ignore your usual behavior, you have a really cute side too, huh? Dogs. Damn heads held high. <laughs> Lord Peptopis was written in Greek Witch Urtica's Witch Doctrine. A witch specific book that. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. Don't speak. Save your strength. I shouldn't have laughed at you. Still, can't you use your magic or something to create an antidote for your stomach ache? Heptobiz or whatever aside, isn't this a chance to show off how amazing your magic is? Stupid! Are you trying to get us all killed? Not calling it Lord... Ow, ouch! Also, Lord Peptobiz is immune to all witch magic. On top of that, the symptoms will only worsen. Yes... What kind of god is this Peptobiz? Uh, no, Lord Peptobiz. You're starting to creep me out. This isn't contagious, is it? <laughs> Don't worry. Lord Peptobiz would never waste its time on a non-magic user. 
never at a loss for words, are you? I must admit that I have never seen symptoms as bad as this. What'll happen if you don't get better? You won't die, will you? Previously, after a few days, she would heal right up, almost as if she was faking, uh, never sick. But her suffering like this is indeed a first. Yes. Wait. Is your hair a little darker than usual right now? Is it? Her hair looks the same as ever to me, but... Hair is influenced by magic and responds accordingly. I'm sure my shitty condition is to blame for any color change you see. <sighs> it is possible that Master Leah's magic powers have been drained. It may prove challenging to tough it out for several days. How can you be so calm about it? She's suffering a great deal. Isn't there something we can do? As a matter of fact, I have nothing to suggest, yes. But in the Western Mountain Valley, I do recall that a shaman lives there who specializes in exorcisms. Huh? Where'd you learn that? I overheard some birds having a conversation deep in the mountains the other day. You heard birds talking? Are you serious? I mean, you always lie with such a straight face, so... I've heard a similar rumor from a witchcraft professor before. In the Forbidden Lands, there's someone who cures witches for a living. Shaman. Better not be another witch. If another witch sees me like this, I'd rather just die. I idiot this is no time to act tough I have no further information regarding the shaman it could be a witch something else or perhaps not even a human anything is possible yes Jeez, useless w well whatever it's a side job while we make the pillars bloom got that hundred night Release the pillars, find the shaman, and get me some medicine. Head to the... What? Ravine. <laughs> you look so apathetic. But you realize I don't know what'll happen to you if I die, right? My magic and your existence are linked. My death might nullify the contract. Or you might die with me. <laughs> Enough talking. Arlecchino, lend me a hand, would you? We need to take her to her bed, okay? With Master Leah in this condition, it will be difficult to use certain things and guide Sir Hundred Knight. Ugh. We have to let her do it. And there's no choice, but I can't help but grip my teeth when talking to her. Arlecchino, call for Mani. But it is impossible to know where Master Mani could be. <laughs> She's close, trust me. Her hearing surprises even me. Master Mani? Who is it this time? Master Mani is a rogue fairy. Her outrageousness is comparable to Master Leah. One would doubt she is truly a fairy because she is such a punk. Er, uh, such a grand creature, yes. My intro? A fairy? Are you okay? You have shards of glass sticking out of your head. Hmm. If that entrance surprised you, then maybe it was a bit too much to do in front of a human. Huh? Hmm? You were cursed to turn into a doggy! Bark, bark! Come on, bark for me! No! to you. Your eyes are really squinty. 
know, maybe your personality got worse? Anyway, what happened? Master Mani, it is not her eyes that have gone bad or her personality. It is her health, yes. Huh? Isn't that what I said? Well, whatever. I was just imitating you, Arlie. I am extremely humbled. Say whatever you want. I'll remember this later. Ow! Ow! Aww, don't get mad at me, Leah. I get the picture. You need me to navigate this thingy, right? Yeah. Guide the Hundred Knight to the Shaman or whatever. And get me some damn medicine. Uh-oh. This is serious business. You should get some rest. It's a promise between you and me. Don't worry. Just leave it to your best fairy pal, Mani. It's a promise. Ugh. Natalia! Hundred Knight, I'm sorry, but I must stay here and watch over Metalia. Even though she is who she is, I can't leave her alone when she's suffering so much. Thank you for your concern, Master Visco. Just Visco is fine, really. I see. Then please refer to me as Butler Lord... Uh, Arlecchino. Let us away to the second floor. Hmm. Hey! Are you really the legendary Hundred Knight? Uh, whatever. Okay, I have to get ready, so we'll chat later. Honey night? Act 2, Chapter 4 The Witch and the Ancient Ravine. as when Leah guides you. But be happy you have a navigator at all. First stop, find Butterfly Road. Otherwise, you can't get to your clapper. I mean, Yaptalaka Ravine. Butterfly Road is said to be deep in the forest, but I don't know where it is specifically. Oh yeah, let me tell you my motto. Pounce and crash, burn the world! Don't you forget it. Okay, let's search every inch of this silly place. 